Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of rational number operations. This is standard 7.3a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 24 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a basic multiplication problem here. 6 and 3 quarters times negative 11.5. That parentheses there means that we are going to multiply. And I can go ahead and eliminate two of these answer choices right now simply because I've got a positive, right? So I've got my 6 and 3 quarters is a positive, And I need to multiply that by a negative. That is my 11.5. Whenever we get a positive and a negative or even a negative and a positive, those two multiplied or divided each other always turns into a negative. So I can get rid of f and g right now. If you ever get a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative or even multiplied by each other or divided by each other, you're going to get a positive. But we don't have that, so we can get rid of f and g. So if we want to figure out which one it is for h and j, it is going to be negative something. Let's turn these both into a decimal first. So 6 and 3 quarters, we need to know that uh, 6 and 3 quarters is going to be 6.75. That 3 quarters, 3 fourths is 0.75. If you're not sure of how to turn that into a decimal, always just divide up. 4 goes into 3. 0 times add enough zeros, and you're going to get 0.75. So 6.75, 115. We can put our decimals here, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to just add those decimals at the end. You don't line up the decimals when you multiply like you do when you add or subtract decimals. That's the confusing part. So 5 and 5 is 25. 7 and 5 is 35. Add that 2 is 37. 5 and 6 is 30. We got that 3 is 33. Now this next row is easy. It's just 675. And even that final row, it is going to be two spots over. This way we've got two zeros, but it's also going to be 675. Since it's just times 1, let's just add this up. I've got 5, I've got 12, so that's 10, that's 16. That's 10, that's 17. And I've got that 7 right there. It looks like 77,625, but remember, I've got one, two, three digits behind the decimal in my factors, so I need one, two, three digits behind the decimal in my product, 77.625. Remember, it was a negative 11.5, so that's actually negative 77.625. Now, we only have this 5 eighths, but this is actually negative 77, and 625 over 1,000, because that's in the thousandths place. That's pretty big. But if you know your eights, if you divide both by 125, because that's what your eights are going to be, that actually is going to get you 5 eights. So it's going to be negative 77 and 5 eights. Now, how can we do that without having to do that translation from a decimal into a fraction at the end? Well, we could just turn these both into fractions. So 6 and 3 quarters, right? Let's make that a mixed number. From a mixed number into an improper fraction, so 6 times 4 is going to be 24. Add that numerator of 3 is going to be 27. So we multiply a whole number by the denominator, 24, and then add the numerator, 27 fourths times we've got 11.5, which is going to be 11 and 5 tenths, which is really 11 and a half, and then we'll do that same thing. 11 times 2 is going to equal 22. Add that one, 23 halves. Now, it is a negative, so let's go ahead and put that in there. 23 halves. So if you really wanted to, you can multiply straight across, but now look what we're having to do. We're going to have to multiply 27 times 23, whatever that is, over 8. And then we're going to have to turn that improper fraction back to a mixed number, which is going to end up being your h, negative 77 and 5 eighths.